All right, I think we're all locked and loaded. Glasses off, up and over. Let's go. All right, so Tabata, we got eight blocks. We do, oh, that's, that was abrupt. We do have that little cardio block that we had yesterday. We're gonna see that twice again today. The slams are burpees, punch across the chest, pogo squats, and skaters. Drop those shoulders, pinky finger, pinky toe. Ow. Do that hinge, feel those legs side to side. So one newish move, it's gonna be in the first block. It's a single dumbbell reverse lunge swing to press. Put those feet right underneath those hips, drop those shoulders, squat and squeeze, press up to those heels. Open up. So we're gonna have one dumbbell for that first block. We're gonna use it for both exercises. We're just gonna change hands, change legs. Let's hit that walkout. Drop those shoulders, roll it, arm down. <clears throat> Open up those hip flexors, raise the core. We got two blocks where we're on our backs. Find your plank, walk it on back. and start that jog. Block four, we're gonna put those bands on and we're gonna get light dumbbells. Two, three, four, five pound dumbbells. We're gonna have them for each exercise. Jack it up. Move my camera. Move this one up. Heisman's in three, in two, now let's go. Keep that chest nice and open, shoulders down and back. We got butt kickers in three, in two, knees down, heels up. Roll those sh shoulders up, back, down. <coughs> so we have some chest presses. So we do those chest presses in block number three. We got steam rollers in three, two, up and across. So block number three, chest presses. Traditional chest presses for the first 20, and then we're gonna do an alternating chest press with bicycle legs. So, you may need a second set of dumbbells if you feel the need to decrease the size of your dumbbell within that block. Let's do those Frankensteins. Or get your heavies and do the best you can for that almost four minutes. We got chest flies, lat pullover, single leg drop. So big flutters, lat pullover, finish with those mummy kicks. We have squat with an alternating cross body. And then we're gonna do some oblique pulls. So working those obliques both sides. And then our last block is an upper body block. Press rows. Curls, kickbacks, shake it on out. 
All right, first move, here's the new one. I'm gonna use my 10 pounder. I have it in my left hand, my left leg's gonna go back. We're gonna press. So a little bit of swing, a little diagonal for that swing to go between the legs. And then we're gonna press it up. And then we're gonna go right into a lateral with a left upright row. And then we'll switch. You're ready in three. Set those shoulders to, left leg goes back. Left swings and presses. <clears throat> so make sure you do that little diagonal swing. Three, two, and breathe. Get ready, dumbbell stays in that same hand. So that means we're gonna go to the right, upright row to the left. Let's go. Both feet on the floor, parallel, push up, right up to the shoulder. Two, and breathe. Switch sides. So right leg's gonna go back, right arm's gonna swing. Shoulders, let's go. Oh, lost my balance. See, whether we lose our balance, we're not falling, we're not going down. We have enough strength and breathe to keep us upright. We're gonna go to the left, right upright row. Shoulders, two, let's go. There you go, couple more. Nice, steady, and breathe. All right, repeat. Dumbbells in that right hand. Nope, dumbbells in the left hand, left leg going back, let's go. Do what you gotta do with that left hand to keep your spine as straight as possible. Three, two, breathe. Going to the right, left upright row. Shoulders down and back, let's go. There you go, pull down, press up through that heel. Don't you wanna dance? Three, two, breathe. All right, other side. How are those shoulders doing? It's not good, the first block. Let's go, oops. Right leg back, right arm moves. This one, swinging diagonal, changing directions. That's all core. Two, breathe. All right, get ready for that. Left lateral, right upright. Let's go. This is it for block number one. Come on, come on. Three, two, breathe. Dumbbell down. All right. I always think it's a good sign when that first block goes by fast. So hopefully everyone thought that first block went by fast. All right, this is that Tabata that we did yesterday, except now we have 10 seconds of rest instead of that five. So slams or burpees, punch across the chest, pogo squats, and skaters. Two, let's go, let's go. 10 seconds. Now. Just like yesterday, slams or burpees, you can combine them. 
Oh, we're all doing burpees except me. I gotcha. Two. Breathe. All right. Punch across the chest. Three. Two. Let's go. So you can do a little move. You get a little hop in between. Or you could just do that pivot, get a little lower. Almost set it as a lunge. Two, breathe. Pogos. Set together. Let's go. Come on, shoulders stay up, down and back, nice and tall. Chest stays open, breathe. We got skaters. We're still punching and pulling. Three, two, let's go. your balance. Look where you're punching. Two and breathe. Back to the top. I was all excited to move on like yesterday. Slams are burpees. Let's go. So slam and then you can do a burpee. You can do whatever you want. I choose slams or burpees. It's full body. Everything is still moving. Heart rate goes up. Breathe. Punch across the chest. Two. Let's go. So you do your punch across the chest like we do, hit the floors. Except you're punching side to side. Three, two, breathe. Pogo spots. Together, straight, pop, pop, let's go. You got 25, 30 seconds. Ooh, all right. Next up is those chest presses. And then we're gonna do alternating chest press with the legs. So you have to feel what, see what feels right with those legs and arms together. So have your dumbbells, have two sets if you need them. So traditional, get those dumbbells laid down. Palms up, elbows down, slam that spine against the floor. Let's go, press, press. Tuck those hips. Shoulders and tailbone are slammed on the floor. Two, and breathe. So now, you're gonna, the leg that's out is the arm that's up, and you're gonna alternate. Let's go. So now, I'm keeping my head on the floor, but now it's a more of an effort to keep that lower back on the floor. So it depends on where your legs are falling. 
a little higher and breathe. All right, back to regular chest presses. This is why I mentioned the two dumbbells. You may start strong. Three, two, regular press, let's go. Both hands, same time. I might be changing my dumbbells pretty soon. <laughs> Three, two, breathe. Take that 10 seconds. All right, set them up. Leg out, dumbbell up, let's go. So now, you're gonna find that your arms are getting a little shaky on this. Why? Two, breathe. Because you have to go slower when you do those alternatings. Woo! Let's do them together. Three, tuck those hips. Two, let's press. So I still have my 15s, but I think in 10 seconds, I'm gonna grab my 10s and finish the block. Three, two, breathe. I am, I'm gonna switch. I don't wanna be dropping one of those Woo, dumbbells on my head. We got alternating, leg out, arm up, let's go. Switch them up. Same position, so those elbows are pointed away, like they're going towards the corner of the room, not directly out. Three, two, breathe. All right, we got one more set. How you doing? I could be on the struggle bus a little bit. Let's do those chest presses in three, two, tuck those hips, let's press. Keep a good tempo. Faster only means more. Slower, slowest means more time under tension. You want it to be nice, maybe a two-two. Nice big exhale up. Two, and breathe. All right, one final 20 seconds. Did I think that this was gonna be the hardest block of the day? No. Do I think it is right now? Yup. All right, arm up, leg up, let's go. Extend that leg, press. What's that spine doing? Is it against the floor? Less than 10 seconds, yes you can. Two, and breathe. Holy. Toledo. All right, so while you're down the floor, come up with your band. Oh my God. <laughs> we got 20 seconds. Plenty of time. Put that band on, grab your light dumbbells. I'm gonna have my fives and my threes handy. We got less than 10. We're gonna do push press to start. So half a squat, press. I'm killing your arms today. Two, let's go. So now, we're not going all the way down. So every time you go down and up, do you need to get your feet further apart? I have my fives. I'm going at a good clip. Three, two, breathe. All right, I'm gonna switch to my three pounders because we have tap backs, front jab. All right, so set, pop. So you can do every other opposite arm or same arm, same leg moves. Whatever gets your tempo going. So straight out. Three, two, boom. I'm gonna keep my threes because they feel pretty good. We got a march, so now we're just like hand weights. Let's go. So natural movement with the arms and legs. Brace your core. So you're just doing like a little swing. Keep those arms at 90. Ooh, breathe. All right, last one. We got a clam shoulder. 
Palms face each other. Let's go. So be at 90 and raise. Get those legs out, raise. There you go. Nice. Two, three. Okay. Who pissed me off that I'm killing myself this morning? We got push press. I'm, ke I'm keeping my threes. Let's go. If you don't have light dumbbells or lighter, drop them, make fists. Three, two, tap back front jabs. Fix, get them up, let's go. I got opposite moving. Works your core a little differently. Shoulders are still screaming. Three, two, breathe. We got marches. Let's power walk, let's go. So keeping those elbows, you're just kind of swinging. Come on, come on, come on, four. Brace that core, drive those knees. Three, two. Clam shoulder flies. <clears throat> Down, let's go. If it's too much to focus on two things, pick your legs. Three, two, uh, take them off, take them off. Okay. We're gonna hit the floor, we got chest flies. We're gonna put one dumbbell down, take one or get two lighter dumbbells. We have big scissors with lap pullover. All right. I got my 10s and my 15s. I'm gonna start with my 15s, see how I do. We got regular flies down. Oh, palms face each other. Big. So your dumbbells are pointed down and away, right? They're not exactly at shoulder height. Get them as close to the floor as you can. Three, two, breathe. I'm gonna grab my 10, see how I feel. Nope, I'm gonna grab two fives. That's what I'm gonna do, two fives. We got big scissor. Spine's on the floor. Two, breathe. Change out those dumbbells if you did. I'm gonna grab my tens for the rest of these flies. <laughs> Set palms, let's fly. <clears throat> now with those lat pullovers, usually we do the one dumbbell. It's a little bit more controlled because you're holding both arms at the same. Two, and breathe. You're holding them with the same force because you're holding onto that dumbbell. Two dumbbells is a little less stable, but you do you. Let's go. Think about your core. Now think about your lats. You gotta keep switching where your mind is because there's a lot happening. Two, breathe. Back to flies. Three, two, spine against the floor, let's fly. Now you're just thinking about your chest. 
You have your lower spine on the floor. All the way down. Nice big exhale up. And breathe. All right, big, big legs, lat pull over. Get it ready, let's go. I woke up, whoops. I was thinking about Prince, and I didn't know what to do with my arms or my legs. Two, breathe. All right, one more round of each. Three, set, tuck those hips, let's go. Control on the way down. You always gotta fight gravity. Two, and breathe, last with those leg drop pullovers. Let's go. So I have both arms going. We'll have to experiment with one leg, one arm doing the opposite, opposite, but not right now. Two, and roll it on up. Put those dumbbells down. All right, we got slams, punch across the chest, pogos, and skaters. Now, slams or burpees, if you'd rather do high knees, because you have ish issues with your wrists, you do whatever you gotta do. Slams or burpees, let's go. Nice big exhale, make that plank nice and pretty. You can pause down there, set. Right? You gotta make sure your butt is down. Squeeze those cheeks, hands right underneath those shoulders. Two, and breathe. Punch across the chest. Let's go. Brace your core. This is what I want you to think about, twisting, brace. You're extending that hand. You're not going with your shoulders. Two, breathe. The lower you sit in those legs, the more of those quads hurt. What do we got, pogos? Let's go, come on. If you're not popping, you're still coming up. Raise, raise, side. Raise, raise, side. Breathe. We got skaters. Two. Oh, we got skaters. Punch, pull. Again, rotate your upper body. Like you're reaching or something on the floor. Two, breathe. Slams, burpees, high knees. Two, let's go. I'm with you for the last couple. <laughs> Three, two, breathe. Punch across the chest. Three, two, let's go. We got five more. Two, breathe. 
Are you going through that box? Ooh. Pull goes. Let's go. Come on. Skaters. Ooh. Three, two, let's go. Okay, is anyone else dying this morning or is it just me? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I mean, not good that you're dying, but good I'm not the only one. Three, two, breathe. All right, squat, alternating cross body. So prisoner squat, bring it down and over. And then we're gonna, whew, we're gonna really lean into it and pull. <clears throat> whew, seven seconds. Think about your squat and then thinking about totally crossing. Let's go, squat. So you really have to think about driving that knee to meet the elbow. See, I looked at this when I wrote it. Three, two, breathe. And I'm thinking, oh, that's really a lot of upper body. Nope, it's very equal. All right, I'm gonna go right side first. Let's go. So try to get that knee out to the side, that elbow to the outer knee. Stretch, pull. Keep with your breath, if you can. Three, two, breathe. Getting those obliques yesterday and today back to those prisoner squats. Three, two, Now, if you don't like doing alternating, finish alternating here. You still have two more rounds of this. You can stick to one side. Two, breathe. Left side, let's go. So once you get your balance, pop, pop it. You're not hanging out here very long. Tap. Two, breathe. Be, get what feels comfortable for you. If it's comfortable leaning or staying straighter, pick a side or go alternating, let's go. I'm gonna pick a side. I'm gonna see. See, you can do, I think you can go faster. So you may get one or two more reps in. Stick it to one side. Two, three. I feel like I need to, my back cracked. All right, right side. Two, let's go. So see what I mean about keeping straight or you can turn your shoulders a little bit and crunch. So this is more like a side plank, side crunch. Two, and breathe. And by all means, play. So if you did single side, you're on the other side. If you did alternating, you're alternating. Let's go. You're probably like, oh, okay, I'm tired of legs. Can we go to upper body, please? Yep, that's block number eight. Three, two, ah, breathe. All right. One more oblique. Left side, 
Let's go. Christmas. Breathe. All right, one more block. Thank God. All right, we got presses. We got curls. We got rows and kickbacks. We're doing two each. So if you want to go heavy and then change it to lighter, play with your dumbbells, fine. You do what you got to do. Okay. Okay. I'll get my big ones. First time pressing. Three, two, let's go. Make sure that you stacked ribs over hips. Do not let that back arch out, even though you're fatigued. Three, two, do not lock out those knees. Breathe. All right, that was good for now. I'm gonna go to my tens and finish my presses. Two, let's go. Brace the core. Tie those rib cages together. Whatever tempo you want. Three, two, breathe. We got curls. I'm gonna go my tens on the first, see if I can hang. Probably not gonna happen. Curls, two, let's go. keep my form. I'm going to pick up my tempo just a smidge. Down. Boom. Three, two. Okay. Can we go? Can we go back to squatting? We got bent over rows. I'm going to pick up my heavy ones for the first round. Ooh, hinge. Let's go. Fine. Get those shoulders out of your ears. Put those dumbbells in your pockets, not your armpits. You put them in your armpits, you use more shoulders. You put them in your pockets, you use more back. Breathe. Holy. All right, we got kickbacks. Two rounds of kickbacks. We're done. You know it. I just picked up my fives. Drop it. Hinge. One row. Kick them back. Let's go. Okay, okay Robin, just being you buddy. We're gonna finish these arms off. Two, okay, okay, last 20, best 20 Robin. Last 20, best 20. I could be crying. Two, let's go, hinge, row, let's go. Last 20, that's it. Keep those elbows high. 90 degree to 180, press. Oh my God, <laughs> three, two, oh Jesus, Christmas, put them down. Oh, I have no Kleenex, stretch out those arms, I need a Kleenex. All right, yep, oh my God, let those arms 
shoulders. It wasn't bad enough for that first block. I already felt my shoulders. Ooh, that was mighty delightful. Get that elbow. Stretch out that tricep. And come across. Grab that elbow. Now you pat yourself on the back. You showed up. You woke up. Set that alarm. Or not. If you found me on YouTube, leave me a message if you do the video. Ooh, a little quick quad stretch. Drop those shoulders. Get your balance. Or find something to help you with your balance. Knees together. Tuck those hips forward. Feel the front of that quad. So you know it's not about the other side. It's not about how heavy you can lift with me. Never. If you have heavy dumbbells, that's great. We're here for a short time, not a long time, so we have to do what we can for each body part. Work the muscles, get your endurance, your strength. Ooh, give it a good little roll. I still need my back cracked. And shoulder roll, nice little self-massage. Nice job, nice job.